It's your girl Sin and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of screen printing and a little bit of something else. So if you want to see what I'm doing, stay tuned. T-shirt check. All right, Prince Squad, T-shirtpreneurs, new timers, first timers, old timers, and big timers. Welcome to the T-shirt chick YouTube channel. My name is Sin, and I show you how I run my T-shirt business that I've had since 2008. And today we're going to go into this room next door. Right now I'm in the blue room. We about to go over to the red room. All right. So we made it here to the red room and today I'm going to be doing a pocket logo, but this pocket logo is going to be a little bit different than any of the other ones I have ever done because it's actually going to be printed onto the pocket. So I do have a, a little pocket attachment for my press. So I'm going to grab it and I'm trying to figure out how it works because I've never used it before. It's still in the packaging and everything. So right here is the pocket platen. It's actually a Vastex, but as you guys know, my press is actually an Anatol. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead, open this thing up and grab my blade. Is the pellet pocket pellet adhesive right here. I say pocket pellet adhesive, you know what I mean? Right here, so took that part off. All right, so this part will attach to the press. Let me kind of show you how it's gonna attach. All right, so I'm gonna try to show you somewhat of how it's going to attach to the press. So right here, you're gonna put it, let me see, let me untwist this part right here. and slide that on here so it's gonna be somewhat like that let me make sure i'm twisting it the right way all right and you have to make sure it's pretty snug and i guess i'm gonna have to put some pallet spray on here i'm not sure if i need any pallet spray on here or not but i guess we're gonna try it out and see but i'm uh, i'm gonna put a little pallet tape on here so i'm gonna grab a shirt and i'm gonna show you how this is gonna work out all right so this is how this is one of the shirts i'm gonna be printing today so it's a little bit weird how it's gonna work out <laughs> from what i'm used to doing so basically you you're gonna put it put your shirt on top of the press like this and then you pull this in like so just like that so then when you bring the screen down you know i'm kind of just showing you a little bit that's what it's going to be like and you just print right in that area so i do not think you're going to need any adhesive or anything i don't think it because i think it's pretty much stuck there and I'm printing on light colored shirts, so I should be good with that. All right, so that's pretty much how it's going to work. We're going to do the pockets first. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the rest of these shirts, toss them in here, and then I'm going to let you guys go with me to the dark room so we can check on this screen and see if it's dry. Y'all come on, follow your girl. All right, so I need to wash some more screens. Let me flip this light on. All right, so I'm going to check on the screen over here. Let me, y'all come on over here. Y'all can come over here. Don't be scared. Come on. Right here, this is, this is how I draw my screens. I have them on the rack. I have this heater right here, and I have this fan right here just blowing air and heat on there. Yeah, but anyway, this is what I was doing at the other shop, so I'm continuing to do it here until I can do better because y'all know I didn't start where I'm at. I started with way less but so we got the screen this this is what we're gonna be printing right here little pocket logo to go on the pocket everything came out and we good to go so we're gonna go on back up in here all right so i'm gonna go ahead and bring the empty slots around this way and i'm gonna go ahead and slide the screen in here 
Actually, I got it upside down. We want to print the pocket logo first. I always like to print the pocket logo first when I use one screen. So that's what we're going to do. Right here, you can see right through. You can see right through here the pocket logo. So what I am going to do, first I got to loosen this up and loosen that up. But what I'm going to do is make sure that this is centered. And what would have made this easier to center is if I would have put a center line on there. All right, so this is about, that's about centered. I don't know, somewhere off in there. Yeah, that's about center. That's what we're going to go with it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up. Move that out a little bit. Tighten both of those up. And that should be about center on that. Now, I just have to make sure that the screen stays right there. And actually, I can kind of, well, not really. Just make sure this is on there good. And I don't know if y'all even saw anything that I just did. But all I did was center this onto this uh the little pocket thingy right here we're gonna just slide this pocket on just like i showed y'all just a little bit earlier so right there and you can see that the center the center of that is this little pointy thing right here so when i bring it over here um we're gonna be able to see yep that's pretty much centered so we good to go i'm gonna go ahead tape up the screen y'all see me tape up screens a lot if y'all have not i'm gonna leave a video right up above here for y'all to click on if y'all want to see that because i want to make this video not as long as possible if i would knew y'all was gonna be on this side i would have stayed on this side and let y'all put this ink on this screen for me so I'm going to get some red ink. Actually, before I even get the red ink, I'm going to go ahead and put my little cover sheet over, over this thing right here. Let me grab my cover sheet. So I'm just going to kind of slant my cover sheet like, like this so that I can cover up what needs to be covered right there. So everything that needs to be covered is covered. All right. So I'm going to go ahead, get me some red ink. Let me get a glove on. And because I'm printing on a light shirt, I'm just getting the, I'm just going to use this right here, which is, what is it? Bright red. Find a, a squeegee. Woo, about to make a mess, y'all. Just get a squeegee. And we don't have that many shirts to go. I need, I do need to order some more bright red ink though i'm gonna put just a little bit right here that's what it's looking like right there i'm gonna go ahead and turn this flash jar on over here as i get squeegees and stuff ready flip this bad boy on right here because we're doing i think we're doing 100 percent cotton shirts so we're gonna put it on number one and hit start and i am while i'm waiting for that to warm up i'm gonna go ahead and go around here and i don't think i'm gonna need it but i'm gonna turn this on right here flash dryer so the middle one i think is the one that i need on let me see yep the middle one is gonna be good so i'm gonna go ahead and do a test print right here this pocket shirt that I messed up last time, I can use it for the perfect, the perfect, perfecto sample to do my test print right here. And I got my squidgy right here. So let me see. All right and there we go all right so i'm gonna slide this bad boy off and y'all look at that that actually looks kind of neat to me i mean it's kind of it's kind of nice that's 
what it's looking like though right there though all right the dryer is ready we're gonna go ahead slide this bad boy on here and print these bad boys these bad booger woogers all right and i'm gonna push when i'm printing i just uh let me see All right, there we go. That's what it's looking like right there. I will not need that conveyor dryer. check and make sure this ink is not wet because if it's wet all I have to do is take it under the flash dryer and let it dry but it's good so we're gonna just put it let me see I'm gonna turn it sideways to cover up this little part right here all right and we should be good to go but now I'm, I'm just gonna do a test print real quick. All right, so I got the squeegee right here. And I'm gonna go ahead, put the shirt on here. So I can get this test print in. All right, so we got everything ready. So we are gonna go ahead, do a test print real quick. And I forgot to add, I'm going to be printing these shirts right here. I'm going to go ahead and print them first. Um, they just wanted a couple of long sleeve shirts with the print only on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and knock these out first. And I got a mark right here, a registration mark. No worries. I'm gonna tape it up and I can use the spot cleaning gun to get it out. When I'm done printing, I'm just making extra work for myself. All right, so it looks pretty good. That's what it's looking like. It reminds me of a crawfish shirt or something. A crawfish company shirt, that yellow and red.
Y'all, I don't like how the green is looking, so I'm gonna print it double. So I'm gonna take it on around. I'm gonna go ahead and print the rest of these and I'll finish that green one up last. The green one is looking like right here, like, like Merry Christmas. It's almost Christmas time. Merry Christmas. It's almost Christmas time. And that's what that one is looking like. So we got them all done. Let's move on to the next step. It didn't quite come out, so I'm going to have to put a little bit more fluid in there. All right, y'all. I guess after dealing with a customer and everything else I did before I went back to try to remove the rest of this, as you see, it's a little bit of a spot still left there. I had to go back in with the spot cleaning gun so I can remove the rest of it. And as you see, the rest of it did come out, so... That was good. I didn't waste a shirt or didn't have to grab another shirt to replace that one with. All right. So now we are on to the next step. If I can find what I'm looking for. So right here, I have a hat and it is a red trucker hat that I am getting ready to print a design onto. And I actually wanted to embroider those hats, but because of the design, I was like, you know, what? it's no way I'm going to embroider all of that so I ended up doing it similar to the design that they already had or the way that they had them originally from whoever did their hats the first time so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys bam right there that is what the original hats look like they are red they have a different address on it because they moved to a new location and it looks like they're those hats are actually screen printed or maybe they are vinyl i don't know all i saw was that photo of them so i'm just trying to do something as similar to those hats as i can and since i don't have a way to screen print the hats then i'm going to have to use my trusty rolling vinyl cutter that you see right there and I'm going to go ahead and get the design ready for print. And as the machine is cutting out, I'm going to talk about this vinyl, y'all. This vinyl that I'm cut, cutting out right there, I specifically ordered it for those hats. It's actually some Sister Easy Weed or in quotation marks, Sister Easy Weed. Because I ordered it from Amazon and it was supposed to be Sister Easy Weed. But I am not sure if it was or not but your girl had some issues with the vinyl 
So right now the machine is still cutting it out and I don't even know the issues I'm about to be dealing with y'all as it's cutting it out. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess he turning the heat press on, get things ready, whatever I'm doing. And I just step back into the screen cause it's almost done. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off and your girl trying to weed that vinyl. And this design has some very small details in it. It's got like a period at the end of drive and it's got like, you know, it's just got some punctuation marks, very small punctuation marks and I'm losing pieces. So that's what I'm talking about in this little clip right here. I'm kind of losing pieces and I did want to make sure this was a decent size. So I put it on, on the hat just to try to make sure it was a good size. So yeah, that's what it's looking like right there, but I am losing pieces. So I ended up trying to weed the second piece so that I could have a piece to press onto the hat without any issues going on with it. And the and also that vinyl it did not cut out that well I don't think I showed it in the video but it did not cut out as crisp as I would like for it to but I am going to go ahead and just press a hat just so I can kind of get an idea I did have a few extra hats I had actually 16 hats one came in damaged and they had sent me an extra one so altogether I had 16 hats and I only needed 12 so um, right here I'm trying to make sure that it is you know right in the center and ready to press on the hat so I can kind of get a good idea of the size okay so the scissor easy weed vinyl was not working out for me so I did go ahead and print the hat and hopefully y'all can kind of see it and then the, the little the period came off right there and it was like, that's what I'm picking at right there. It's like off the head. I ended up having to use some vinyl remover. Okay. So this scene is actually the next day. You can tell, cause I got on a print squad shirt on this day and I ended up using the vinyl that I sell in my store, which is actually some pretty good vinyl, but it's just kind of an off brand. And I wanted to go with a name brand, a good brand for my customers, but you know, the vinyl that I sell in my store is not bad vinyl. I just wanted to go with scissor or stalls or something like that. And since I could get scissor quicker, that's what I was going with. But as you see, the vinyl that I carry in my store, it actually weeded a whole lot better. I was not losing any details. And I don't know if I'm gonna give up the name of my vinyl or not to y'all. I don't know. I might I might give it up. I probably do a video for the members because it's a really reasonable price vinyl and it kept all the details in the hat it did not lose one okay so I finally finished got it done if y'all haven't subscribed y'all make sure y'all subscribe hit the thumbs up like the video so I'm bringing everything into the front and I'm taking a picture because eventually when I get a chance I will put it on Instagram you know trying to get a couple of shots for Instagram right there because your girl don't be doing much for the gram and now I am packaging up everything and trying to get it boxed up so that I can have it ready for pickup when the customer comes in a little bit later that same day i finished everything up for today um y'all know i appreciate y'all watching i appreciate all the support from y'all if y'all like the videos y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribed if you haven't already and hit that notification bell i'll be posting more videos real soon y'all so i leave the links below the video for you guys for any products and equipment that i use i got more videos coming for you guys so i'll see y'all in another video maybe and until then y'all be blessed <laughs>